Hi, everyone. A uh, question I get asked a lot is whether it's a good idea to warm up your engine before you start driving. It's winter time is in full swing here in Kansas City. Today, it's about 25, 30 degrees. And a lot of people are under the impression that they should start their car and let it idle for a few minutes, several minutes before they start driving in order to uh, protect their engine from damage. Uh, the short answer is no. You don't need to warm up your engine um, before you start driving. The modern engines are uh, the fuel and air is controlled by a computer and it uses temperature sensors to tell how cold it is outside, so how much fuel the engine needs to start and run. Um, there are a few ex exceptions, like uh, if it's really cold, like zero degrees Fahrenheit, um, uh, well below freezing, when you first start your car, the engine might run a little rough for a few minutes. So in that case, uh, what I would do is just let it run for about a minute. Um, or until the engine starts to smooth out. If you uh, just want to get in your car and start driving, that's totally fine, um, unless it's, like I said, it's super cold outside. So what I would normally do if it's uh, really cold, below freezing, maybe 10, 0, 10, 15 degrees outside, I will just uh, get in my car, start it, let it run for a few seconds, and then I'll start driving and... I just won't accelerate really hard for the first minute or two while the uh, engine is warming up because I don't want to put it under a big load uh, while it's still pretty cold. So it's one or two minutes of, of gentle driving when you first start out. And you and if it's really cold and there's snow on the ground, maybe some ice, then you should be driving slow anyway. So, uh, yeah, I would just uh, drive it drive it easy for the first minute or two. And you'll notice that the uh, engine starts to smooth out when it gets warmer, and then you can just drive as normal. Um, there are, so if your car was made in the last 25 years or so, it's gonna be fuel injected and computer controlled, and and uh, the fuel air ratio is gonna be taken care of without you doing anything uh, to, to uh, control it. But if your car is really old and has a carburetor with a choke on it, uh, some some of the older ones even have a, a, like a lever that you pull out for the choke. So you're going to have to know how to operate that in, in cold weather. Uh, basically, what a choke does is just uh, restricts the amount of air that gets into the engine while you're starting it so that you have a, a richer fuel mixture, so more fuel and less air, so that the car will have an easier time starting when it's cold. So uh, those car, those kind of cars aren't really around anymore unless you're driving a classic or a, a race car or something. So in that case, you probably already know uh, how, to, how to warm up a car with a carburetor. You do need to let it run um, until the, the electric choke closes or you can close the choke and the engine runs fine. So in those cases, yeah, you do need to uh, warm up the car a little bit uh, to... Uh, get the f air fuel mixture normal to up to normal temperature. So in general, no, don't bother warming up your car. Just uh, get in, start driving it, take it easy. If it's super cold outside, take it easy for a few minutes until it's, until the engine seems like it's running uh, smooth and normal. And that's it. Uh, if you, if it's really cold and you have a remote start and you want to warm up your car before you go out and get in, get into it, a lot of people do that. Um, just, I would say, uh, idling the engine is not good for your car. So extended idle periods is not doing anything good for your engine. In fact, it's just uh, uh, burning up the oil a little bit faster. So you might need to do your oil changes a little bit more frequently in the winter time if you're going to be idling your car like that. So hope this is helpful. Uh, remember, you don't need to warm up your car. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.